Teresa, I'm ready to start. Thanks for helping me test this new obstacle course, Gabe. No problem. Just pretend I'm a new recruit. Okay, your goal in this training mission is to learn basic agency navigation and maneuvers. Follow the arrows and my instructions to reach the agency flag. Once you've learned the basics, you can try the mission again and attempt to break the record time. Are you ready? Ready. Go. These instructions correspond to the standard control scheme. Press the up button to climb objects. You can climb anything from 4 to 12 feet high. Got it. What's that stand for again? Electronic Device Sensing Utility. It'll pick up any electronic or magnetic signal. Your goggle CPU filters out all non-relevant signals. To equip your goggles, press and hold the left button. Then press the square button to select EDSU. To turn your goggles on or off, tap the left button.
Teresa, I'm ready. Great. Again, thanks for helping me test this basic combat course. Let's do it. These instructions correspond to the standard control scheme. If you press and hold the right button, you'll see that you don't... That's the weapon crate. To interact with it, walk up to it and press the up button. You should see an interact icon in your HUD. Got it.
yes, the EDT, my favorite weapon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stay in character. Your EDT, knife, and hands share the same hard point. To equip your EDT, press and hold the right button. Then continue to tap the R button until the EDT is selected. As you know, the EDT can take out targets quietly from a distance using a line that delivers an electric charge. Press and hold the R button to shoot the EDT line towards your target. When it connects with your target, hold the R button to continue sending a jolt. Okay, use the EDT on this trainee. It burns! Let's do some basic combat knife training. This is the final section of the basic combat course. To equip your knife, press and hold the right button. Then tap the R button to select the knife. If you sneak up behind a target, you can perform a lethal knife attack from behind. Okay, practice your knife attack on this trainee. That hurt. You should try again and see if you can beat the record time. That's it. What do you think? Not a bad combat training course. I hope this eye washes out. I've got it. Let's go. These instructions correspond to the standard control scheme. To equip your MB-150, press and hold the right button. Press the X button to select the rifle. If you look at the lower right corner of your HUD, you will now see the MB-150 icon. This tells you that you have it equipped. Beneath the weapon icon, you can see your dart icon along with a short description and an ammo count. This tells you which dart you currently have selected. Tap the right button to change dart type. As you tap through the dart types, you will see that you have four types of ammo to choose from. 6mm rounds, explosive darts, gas darts and EDT darts. Let's start with the 6mm sniper rounds. I'll remove the other dart types for now. First, be aware that the 6mm rounds are not silenced. This was a trade-off that had to be made for technical reasons. To give the weapon greater range and accuracy, I know. Exactly. So make sure if you want to take out a target silently, that you use either the gas or EDT darts. Okay, three targets have been hidden in the canyon. Use your scope mode to find them. To go into scope mode, press and hold the L button. This will bring up your MB-150 HUD view. The scope has two zoom levels. While holding the L button, tap the up button to zoom in. Tap the down button to zoom out. Use the square, triangle, circle, and X buttons to aim. Note that you can continue to use the analog stick to move while in scope mode. If you tap the down button before going into scope mode, you'll crouch. 
Crouching will reduce most of the scope sway. If you need help finding the targets, I've had the tech team install electronic homing devices on them, making them visible to your EDSU goggles. To equip your EDSU go goggles, press and hold the left button. Then press the square button. You can tap the left button to turn your goggles on and off. Alright, let's go over EDT darts. Note that all of the dart types are deployed in a two-step process. First, you fire the dart at your target. Once the dart is deployed, you will see the R icon in the lower right corner of your HUD. To activate the dart, press the R button. Note that all deployed darts appear... no pleasant way to go. True. Take out the remaining targets using your EDT darts. Oh, <laughs> 
X-34? According to Majari, it's been in development at the agency labs for over a decade. Originally an offshoot of sarin gas, X-34 has special aerosol properties that keep it from drifting. It's incredibly deadly and can take out two or three targets at once if they're close enough together. The gas cloud takes a few seconds to dissipate. So be careful not to walk into the cloud yourself if you activate one nearby. Down in the canyon, you see moving targets on patrol. Your goal is to take them out with a single X-34 gas dart. Ready, go. Amazing weapon, if only the 6mm rounds were silenced. I know, but you can't have everything. And you do have your SOCOM silence pistol. Teresa, I'm ready. You said you had some new moves to show me? You bet I do. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Let's start with grappling. Grappling is a new technique you can use to deal with enemies more stealthily. Once grappled, a target can be disposed of, used as a human shield, or moved towards special locations. Approach this trainee from behind, and then hit the up directional button to grapple him. I promise not to park in your space again, sir. I know you won't. Keep in mind that you can't grapple someone indefinitely. See that meter in the lower right corner of your HUD? When it fills up, the target will break free, so watch out. To kill him, hit the down directional button. Now I'll show you blind fire. This new method allows you to remain safe while firing at enemies and forcing them into cover. Blind fire has its perks, but it's not meant to replace normal cover fire. As the name implies, you're firing blind, so you have very little chance of actually hitting anybody. Seems like a waste of ammo to me. It has its uses. Trust me. You can perform this action only while snapped to a wall or low cover surface. Hold on! We're the good guys! Work like a charm. Once forced behind cover, your enemy loses any beat they had on you. You can move in for the kill, take evasive actions, whatever. Let's just leave them. See if they ever come out. Fun, huh? I've got to get down here more often. Ah! I'm... I'm hit! Oh! 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 Ooh. 
line fire is to suppress enemies, but there's always a small chance of hitting one. A dead terrorist is the best kind of terrorist. I refined agency grenade tactics due to a rise in training accidents. Workman's comp premiums were going through the roof, and recruits with missing digits are terrible at office work. I'm already certified with grenades. This change affects everyone straight to the top. Time to walk the walk. To equip, press and hold the right directional button, then press L to select a grenade. Yeah, yeah. I know how. Go ahead and start playing around while I explain things. Aim as you would with any other weapon. Throw the grenade a small distance, quickly tap the R button. For longer distances, hold the R button down for a moment, and then release. Crouching... Recruits were having trouble with all of this? Don't get me started. They need so much hand-holding. I even had to put a sign in the break room informing them their mother doesn't work here. Sounds like you've become their mother. One more thing. Guys with tinnitus are terrible at office work, especially working the phones. So I've started teaching them how to avoid grenade blasts. The trainees are going to throw low-yield flashbangs at your position. Use the grenade icon and direction indicator to evade the blasts. The directional indicator points toward the grenade, so move in the opposite direction to evade. Trainees, begin the grenade test. Made it. And I didn't need remedial grenade training either. Or did you succeed because you retrained? It will have to remain an enigma. I have shit to do. Training doesn't anticipate every possible field situation, but keeping your instincts honed and reflexes sharp go a long way toward mission success. I owe everything to instinct. We had a few agents getting on in years who were losing their edge. I won't name names. Stone! He's still the best shot I've ever seen. Go ahead. Put me through the paces. This... You're not so rusty. Nothing to it. Gabe, we finally got those inline hypodermic health kits installed in your suit. That's great. There are never enough health kits when I need them. Yeah, they're really snazzy. Whenever you start to lose some health, just take cover and don't get hit for a while. The health kits will automatically kick in and restore you to full health. Let me show you how they work. Let's say you, for example, get hit by a blast of some sort. You've tested these already, right? There, now you're hurt. But your health should be fully restored right about... Now, how do you feel? Aside from the ringing in my ears, I feel fine. Just remember, these only heal you. They can't bring you back from the dead. Do we have anything for flak jackets? Auto-regenerative armor technology? That's just crazy talk. Copy that. Well, what do you think? Were you pleasantly surprised? Not bad, Teresa. Not bad at all. to supervise our new underwater training facility. Why won't you tell me? You'll see. Logan, good to see you, mate. Oh no, Gabe, not Dane Bishop. Hey, good to see you too, darling. Gabe, for God's sake, we can't have him teaching new recruits. He's just here to observe. Let's go. These instructions correspond to the standard control scheme. You can enter water a number of ways. Drop, vault, jump, fall, or walk down graded surfaces. Or from some of my exploits, jump in from an exploding ship, walk in the plank, or because your lady friend accidentally forgets to pack your parachute. Ugh. Gabe, just get in the water.
surface functions just like dry land. To dive underwater, press the down button. Try it now. Go ahead and swim around down there while I explain. I'm a tactile learner myself. A real hands-on kind of guy. I... Ugh. Anyway. Swimming allows you to move along all three axes. To swim up, just look up and press forward. Pull back to kick in the opposite direction. To surface, simply aim and move toward the waterline. Okay, next, swim through the tunnel and surface on the opposite side. Right now, you're wearing a rebreather. It allows you to stay underwater pretty much indefinitely. But other times, you'll have to make do without a rebreather. I've just disabled it so you can practice managing your own O2. Now, swim to the other side of the tank with nothing but the air in your lungs. destroy the source of some currents and turn off or redirect others. Very nice, Gabe. You chose the simple, quiet method. Boring. Blow it up, mate. Let me handle this part, okay, darling? He's all yours. Gabe, I'm gonna let Dane show you the rest. I need a break. Go ahead. Dame can handle it from here. See you tonight, Tits. Bishop! What? Oh, man. I thought she'd never leave. Tell me about this new spear gun. See for yourself. I've sent recruits into the tank. Use the spear gun to hit each of them. Commander Logan, you're going to be impressed this time, I swear. Oh, no. Not the spear gun. Out 
lot down there. Bullets travel slower, rate of fire is reduced. Shotguns just plain don't work and don't even bother chucking a grenade while underwater. Now use your dry land weapons to take out the next round of targets. Uh, I mean, recruits. Mommy, do fish go to heaven? I'm hit! Water won't stop you from attacking enemies on land, and vice versa. Let me talk you through it. I've sent a recruit down to look for you, but he has no idea you're in the water. Commander Logan? Commander, where are you? <laughs> I should have known better than to trust that weird Scottish guy. Hey, it's bloody Aussie, you dumb recruit. Commander Logan? Commander, where are you? This was another test. Oh, that never gets old. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna learn and make you proud, sir. Look at it like this, kid. You're doing your part to keep the world safe. Well, that's it, Logan. It's an interesting training course. Bishop, do you think it's comprehensive enough? There's no way you can teach the kinds of things I do in a swimming pool. This course will help you not get your ass eaten by sharks the first day. But nothing beats good old field experience. Looks like you're still in business. Teresa's gonna be disappointed. You don't understand women, Logan. She built this course so she'd have more excuses to see me. 